I want to bring in Robert Chentrup. Robert lost his sister Carmen in the shooting last week. She was 16. She was a national merit semifinalist. Uh, Robert's question is for Congressman Deutsch. Robert. Congressman Deutsch, today would have been Carmen's 17th birthday. But sadly, we are having to celebrate her life instead of celebrating what a new year might bring. My question is, if a majority of Americans have long supported stricter gun control regulations, but our elected officials, who are supposed to represent the people, have done nothing, does this mean that our democracy is broken? First of all, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss. Uh, what what you're doing here is celebrating her life. What you're doing in asking that question is honoring her memory. And let me answer. Let me be pretty straightforward about that. Is our democracy broken? A little bit. A little bit it is. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all. When it comes, you said it's widely supported. There was a poll that came out yesterday that showed that 97%, which when you add in the margin of error, is everyone in America supports universal background checks. Now, so, so there, look, I, I don't have a good answer for why something that's supported by 100% of the American people hasn't been passed. Instead, look, there's a bill, there's a, there's a bill, Senator Rubio talked about the bill, the president talked about this bill that's going to, that's going to make sure that they're talking about expanding background checks, making sure that everyone complies with what needs to be in the background check. Great. Let's do that. But you know what else we need to do? Make sure that every single person in America who buys a gun has a background check. And secondly, Look, this and this is a bigger issue. Is our democracy broken? When, when any organization spends tens of millions of dollars promoting the interests of gun corporations to influence what happens in our elections, then yes, our democracy is a little broken. But the way... But here's, here's the, here's the, here's the beauty. Here's the beauty of our democracy. No matter how much money the NRA spends on political campaigns, millions and millions of dollars spent trying to convince people that representing the interests of gun companies is more important than standing up for the safety of the people of America, no matter how much they spend, here's why our democracy is great. Because everything we've seen from the 3,300 survivors of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, the leadership that has been shown is leading a movement that is so much stronger than money spent in political campaigns. That's why the democracy can be fixed and will be fixed. I want to bring in Cameron Caskey. He's a junior.